Hey everyone, alright, and welcome to uh, stage 5 of the my Perusa i3 build. Uh, what we're going to be doing is attaching the Z-axis to our um, Z-box, if you want to call it, uh, that we built in stage 2. Um, and then from there we'll, uh, uh, we'll attach this hole to the actual bed framework itself. So, uh, first things first is we're just going to well, start with our Z-box here, laying it down. Uh, we're going to need our four Z mounts, which look something very similar to this. And here, we're going to be using our Prusa I2 smooth rods for the Z, and as well as our X carriage that we had before. There you go. Better idea to look at it here. So. Do here is take this already kind of installed on here and just slide this through. There we go. And install this one in the bottom here. slide this one through as well. All right. Now here's where we're talking where we'll need to decrease the width here because if you can see, <laughs> we're quite a bit off. That's no problem. Not when we got this guy. So, let's take this and bring her in some. All right, all right, we're pretty close to, or at least much closer than we were before, so, which is good. So next thing, once we have this on, is gonna be working on just kind of lining up and adding these guys at the top. Now, we got somewhat lined up here. Take a mortar, make sure we've got clearance here. Bottom. That yep, looks like we'll be just fine here. And if we need to go up a little bit more, it's all right if these protrude out a little bit from the top. So. But uh, first thing I'm going to do here first is I'm going to tack down these guys right here at the top and um, just using some wood screws. So, here we go. All right, so we've attached the top ones here. So you can see as we kind of get up to the top here, it's pretty tough. So that means we're gonna have to widen this out, but that's fine. We just need to first things first is get things, things, everything all secured down. So next up here is I'm going to attach the bottom ones here.
Okay, so got them in, now I'm binding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and kind of spread this back out just to use it, you know, use it just to spread it out so I get that nice smooth movement both up and all the way through the full travel. So when we come back, I'll show you kind of the finished product that we've got. All right, so after some adjusting, it moves nice and smooth here. So what I'm going to do next is attach the motors to the bottom here. So, and we'll be using some uh, M4 screw, or sorry, M3 screws by 10 millimeters. So. All right, everyone. Well, uh, I had to move to a more of a solid base here, so I'll just kind of show you what exactly I'm going to do. Not going to be super detailed, but I'll just take you through the steps just so that you're kind of aware. Uh, I went to a nice solid surface, a uh, nice something flat. Uh, first thing I did was make sure that the spacing between here and here were equal all the way around. From there, move to the back side here measured the distance here to the smooth rod and then made sure that that was equal on both sides as well as from the back here to the front of the plate so with that done I'm gonna go ahead and screw down the base and then from there I'll kinda of show you what we need to do next to uh, shim things alright so I have attached the bed back here as you can see uh, one thing, just kind of want to show you what I did. Uh, you can see here. What I did was I just put a little bit of tape around the actual threaded rod before I attached that, and that was just to give it more, uh, just to snug everything up here. So what you're going to do next, though, is loosen these up. Now, I did a bad thing, and I screwed in the side here first, and I shouldn't have done that. Uh, what you want to do is loosen these up. And the reason why is you're going to take your level, when the, once your bed's level, just place it up there. Make sure the top and bottom rods are touching and are square to the bed. And you can do that by adjusting the length distance this sticks out from your base. So just keep moving that around, add wood behind it, screw it around, oh, excuse me, and then attach. So. Well, I'm going to work on that, shim things up and make sure everything's square, but uh, that kind of ends this here. Uh, what I'm going to do next, obviously, is going to, once everything's square, is add the threaded rods that attach for the Z-axis, and then work on the electronics. So, until then, thank you.